Hey, what's up guys, Alex here. Thank you for checking this video and welcome to my personal review of the Galago Pro from System76. I'm currently a happy and satisfied owner of the Gazelle, another laptop from System76, which I also reviewed a while ago. So you can imagine how happy I was when they asked me to review the Galago Pro, the sleekest laptop of their entire line. The Galago Pro is a premium looking laptop that finally feels like it was built in 2017 and doesn't look like an early 90s brick. The unit I review came with the following configuration a 13.3 inches 3K high DPI display with a resolution of 3200 by 1800 at 8 generation Intel processor i7-8550U with integrated UHD 620 graphics, 8 gigabytes of DDR4 RAM at 2133 MHz and a 512 gigabytes Samsung 960 EVO NVMe as a main OS drive. In terms of ports we have everything we could ask for. On the right side we have a Kensington lock, a full-size Ethernet port, yeah this is pretty amazing, SD card reader, full-size HDMI, mini display port, USB 3 and a USB 3 Type-C. On the left side we have headphone and microphone jack, the power button, USB 3, a SIM card reader that unfortunately is useless because it's not active and the power jack. As usual, like every review I do, I will list the bad things first to then conclude with the good things about this laptop in order to end this video with a positive note. The bad things are really minor and the list is incredibly short. The build quality of the frame is great, super sturdy and light, but there are some parts where it feels like it wasn't refined enough. I noticed that some angles are not smooth, especially on the back of the monitor, and I almost scratched my finger when I lifted it from that angle when the monitor was open. The speakers are not that great, the grids where the sound should come out are small and at the bottom, really easy to block them, and overall the sound feels muffled and not clear. The built-in camera, it is what it is. The camera is not too bad, it's a 720p resolution and the integrated microphone is good enough for video calls and office related stuff. I wouldn't use it for like live streaming or like gaming or stuff like that. It's, it is what it is. It's a regular integrated 720p camera in your laptop, so it's good enough. And that's it. I told you it was a pretty short list. On to the good things, this laptop is wonderful, it maintains the modularity that every System76 machine comes with, giving you the ability to open it and upgrade every single component while remaining extremely portable and light with a premium look attached to it. The keyboard is great, smooth and quiet, with the keys decently spaced between each other. The screen is gorgeous, a wonderful high DPI display perfectly fitting the 13 inches size, bright enough to be perfectly usable even during a sunny day. The trackpad is a million times better than the cheap plastic stuff we're used to it, and even if I'm not a fan of the separate buttons at the bottom, they feel really sturdy and clicky, and I got used to it pretty quickly. Performance wise is amazing, it's lightning fast, mostly because of the optimization and the amazing work done on Pop! OS, but I'm sure it can run pretty much any distro you decide to use. Be careful though, not every distro can properly handle a high DPI display yet, and you could risk to have to deal with a super tiny resolution that you cannot change, or some janky UI renderings. The Galago Pro starts at $900 with the basic configuration, and even if not cheap, is a fair price for this type of laptop and the amazing support you get. In conclusion, this is the perfect companion for travelers, developers always on the road or creators that need the portability and lightness to be able to work easily at their favorite coffee shop. I don't hide the fact that sometimes I wish I had picked the Galico Pro instead of the Gazelle. But what can you do? Well, that's pretty much it for this video. Check out the System76 website for amazing machines and great deals for your next Linux powered computer. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one.